Hi lovelies, you're welcome to yet another exciting moment on my vlog. I know I have my face mask on. So the thing is, I'm actually very tired of sleeping, watching movies, you know, waking up, working on my system. And um, I woke up very early this morning and decided to do a facial. Well, the time is still like a um, few minutes to 7 a.m. And I decided to do a facial. And I figured out that, oh, the environment is somewhat kind of quiet. Then I decided to, why not? Why don't I even pick up my camera and um, film a tutorial video? Because ever uh, today is yet another exciting tutorial. But first off, I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who engaged with me in my last video where I talked about three apps and digital tools that creatives and creative entrepreneurs can use to achieve their work from home or from anywhere. And one of those digital tools that I talked about was Samba. A lot of people started sending me messages saying they wanted to learn how to use Canva. So today's tutorial is going to be on how to use Canva. But before then, I need to get this of my face and if you want to find out the content of my DIY homemade face mask you have to stay to the end of this video so this is what it finally looks like um, I have to take out this water <sighs> and I threw on a wig cause bad hair day So before we delve into the tutorial, here is one useful tip I would really like to share. If you're thinking of a career in the digital space as a social media manager, then you definitely need to learn how to use Canva. Canva is like a free or next to free graphic design tool. Currently for me, what I do now that there is lockdown and a lot of businesses have not renewed their contracts because of the effects of COVID-19 on businesses and the economy at large. I currently manage social media platforms for a few individuals and um, personal branding for them. Well, I actually cannot mention their name because none disclosure agreements and I use Canva to you know do most of the work I get to put out for them on their social media platform so if you want to learn how to use Canva come with me to this tutorial and let's go explore Canva okay so Canva is like a free or next to free graphic design and creative digital tool that comes in the web and mobile application format for this tutorial I'm going to be using the mobile form Install Canva from your Google Play Store on your mobile phone. Fill in the necessary details, then launch the application. At the home front of Canva, you will see pre-designed, custom-made and over 60,000 plus templates of different sizes suitable for various social media and digital platforms. There are templates for various categories, industries and purposes such as food, beauty, travel, lifestyle, fashion, real estate, business proposal, and so on. As a small business owner, you need to get acquainted with Canva. So here, I just chose any template and I'm going to toggle between the color and the image. Every icon on Canva has an importance. To work on a template, after selecting the template, click on edit. Tap the template to choose the color. A color palette pops up or you can also change the image Search the gallery to pick your own picture or pre-custom made pictures from Canva. You click on design at the bottom of the home page. You will see your automatically saved work. Here are the various sizes of templates depending on the platform you are designing for. Rather than searching through over 60,000 plus templates, you can search for a template by keyword. You may want to create designs for your food, beauty or fashion business or even for your blog. Just type the keyword and a suitable template will pop up. You may also want to collage various pictures too. Here, I will search for a beauty template. I have chosen this beauty template to design my beauty DIY poster. To work on this template, I need to add my own picture and use my own words. So I just tap on the template to select the portion I want to work on. Then click on the plus sign at the bottom of the Canva work page. The options of image, gallery, color or text or whatever I want to add pops up. In this case, I want to add my own picture. I then go to my gallery and search for the picture I want to add. Then select it. I can also click on the text to change the font size or change the type of text I'm using. Also, note that to save your work to gallery from Canva, click on the downward arrow at the top left corner of the Canva work page. 
If you're also going to be using Canva for your business post on social media or any digital platform, for the sake of brand consistency, take cognizance of your brand color, fonts, and poster size. For this design, you can see that my background, my cutting background here is brown. So I have decided to work with brown. I'm also wearing a white shirt and carrying a white mug. So white, brown are the colors I'm going to be using for this design. You can also toggle between the color palettes to choose whatever color you want. Always note that your designs need to be aesthetically beautiful and pleasing to the eyes. In any case where you want to undo or redo any task, check the top right corner of the Canva work page. There's an inverted arrow where you can undo and redo whatever you have done. You can also search for your saved work on your gallery. If you also want to continue working after you have saved your work to gallery, you can still come back to Canva and at the bottom left, rather at the bottom right, of the Canva work page, you would see design. Click on the design and you see all of the work you have designed with Canva there. Next up, I'm going to be designing a magazine cover with my face on it. For the magazine cover, I just stepped magazine in the search space on Canva. The various templates pops up. I select the one I want, then tap on the template to start editing by taking out the custom magazine cover and adding mine, which is my face. Look who is the cover girl. Soon people, soon. <laughs> there are endless possibilities with Canva. If you would like a detailed tutorial, kindly leave a comment in the comment section or send me an email as my ebook on Canva will be ready next week. Here, I'm going to be creating a design from scratch. To get a blank template, just click on the plus sign at the bottom right of the Canva work page. Then a blank worksheet appears. You can select the size if it's an Instagram or blog header size. All of this information are available on Canva. For this design, I want to make a quote for my public relations and brand communications agency called the Lifestyle Brand Consult. So I'm going to toggle between text, custom made text to achieve this. Yeah. PR doesn't happen overnight. Next up is the animated social media template. Yay! This is my favorite part. Here, you have your design in a video format, slightly longer than a GIF. I use this to design my vlog intro and outro banner. You can actually check them out. Here, I am creating a poster for a fashion sales event. I got the picture of this dress from at styled by B on Instagram. This is me giving credits. If you want to learn how to do this, kindly sign up to purchase my ebook on Canva. It also comes with a two day one on one assessment schedule over the phone on Canva. As a small business owner, if you do not yet have money to pay a graphic designer, then I think you need to get yourself acquainted with Canva. The app is easy to use. Aside from posting this on your social media platform, you can also send this via your newsletters to your customers and also to your friends.
hope you really enjoyed today's tutorial so to like come your way next time kindly engage with me like drop your comments and subscribe to my youtube channel too thank you so here is the content of my diy homemade face masks egg white and yogurt this max even skin tone removes facial hairs shrinks the pores and increases elasticity so thank me try it and thank me later